This video will be a first in a series of segments that I will do covering the flat earth truth and the biblical flat earth and how it all fits in together. Now as you see here, this is our lovely solar system. Yes, the solar system we have been taught even since young and all the globes and the models and all the science projects that we did related to this. As you can see the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. This is what we have been told growing up and this is what we have been told exists since we were young. But what if I told you that everything you've been taught is in fact a lie? What if I told you that your lovely solar system and all the galaxies out there is in fact a lie? What if I told you that none of these planets actually exist, including this one, the one we so-called live on, called Earth? Now, what if I also told you that all the names of the planets have to do with pagan Roman gods? As you can see, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and even Pluto, they are all, what? They're all stemmed from pagan Roman gods, with the sun as their center. Sounds like sun worship to me, doesn't it? But let's keep going. So we know that these so-called planets give worship to pagan sun gods and homage to pagan Roman gods, as well as Ceres. But what else? What does the Bible say about planets? What does the scriptures say biblically about planets. All that the scripture says is that there are only stars and constellations. There is never any mention of any so-called planets, nor is there any mention of any so-called life on other planets. So somebody is lying here. But let's keep going. What else does the scripture say about so-called planets and about life where we are and life as we know it? Well, as far as we know, in many books of the Bible, in many passages, it even says that the earth is immovable, that where we live is immovable. Let me ask you this question. We have been told and lied to for so many years and even decades that the earth is spinning at such a fast pace and such a fast pace, it's spinning so fast that we can't even move, that we can't even feel it move that we can't even feel it. But let me ask you this, is it true? Do you actually feel any movement right now? Because I don't. Let me ask you this, we've also been told that these so-called planets revolve around the so-called sun that's so-called 7,000 times bigger. If that is the case, then why doesn't the sun look 7,000 times as big in the sky? Not only that, but when you look at the sunrise and when you look at the sunset, why does it look like the sun is moving? According to this model, the sun's not supposed to move at all. The earth is supposed to move. But yet in the book of Psalm and in the book of Enoch, it tells us that the earth is immovable. Not only that, but the word also tells us, according to Isaiah chapter 66 verses 1, Acts chapter 7 verses 49, and Matthew chapter 5 verses 35, that where we are, we are in fact Yahuwah's footstool. Well, you can't have a footstool on a round or hollow model, can you? The only model you can have a footstool on is a flat earth model. Therefore, the earth must be flat. And there are many more scriptures that I will delve into in subsequent videos regarding this topic. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, what about the comets? Don't they, aren't, where do they come from? What about the asteroids? Are they made up too? No, the comets are actually fallen angels. And so are meteors. They are actually the angels who are moving and they are even in the stars. You just don't know. And asteroids cannot exist. Because remember in the book of Genesis, in the very first opening of scripture, in the very first seven chap in the very first seven verses, should I say, what are we told? We are told that Yahuwah made both the heavens and the earth 
So he made the heavens and the earth. So he didn't make all these other so-called planets. But what else? We are also told that what? That he made a firmament to divide the waters from the waters. You can't have a firmament on a round earth, can you? The only way you can have a firmament is on a flat earth model now think of a firmament as a dome because that is where we are we are in a domed world we are sealed by the firmament and this firmament comes very important later on because you need to know that in the flat earth model with the firmament you cannot have open space nothing can come into the firmament nothing can come out of the firmament unless the most high allows it to so therefore, nothing can come into our atmosphere. It is impossible to get hit by an asteroid because nothing can come in to our atmosphere unless Yahuwah allows it. We are sealed in a dome. And you're probably wondering, okay, well, what about the asteroids? What about the comets? Well, like I said, the comets are the, the fallen angels. They're the angels. And they've been inhabiting on Earth even since the very beginning of time. How do you explain this? How do you explain the Roswell UFO incident in 1947 that happened in New Mexico? How do you explain that? Let me tell you this, something your government will fail to tell you. UFOs are actually the fallen angels, believe it or not. And like I said, they've been here all along, and they are even roaming the earth even as we speak. So therefore, they're not some outer life beings or extraterrestrials that come from some made-up planet because we know planets do not exist. The only life that Yahuwah has made for us is his earth and the heavens. And let me tell you this also, many of the books of the Apocrypha have been removed on purpose, such as the Apocalypse of Peter, the Apocalypse of Paul, and the Book of Enoch, and many others that all seem to suggest and say that there are levels of heaven even before you get to the firmament. And even in the Book of Enoch, there are 10 levels of heaven and with the Most High sitting at the top. Like I said, I'll go over that more in videos to come. But why am I telling you this? Because that right there disproves the round earth theory and all the solar system that we've been taught for such a young age. Has truth been hidden from us? Have we been hidden from the truth? Have we been hidden from our creator, Yahuwah? Has the name been hidden from us? Let's keep going. So we know when this so-called incident took place, we know that our government is, has actually been working with these fallen angels and has been working with these fallen angels ever since. Now you may be wondering, well, what about the incident in Russia back in February 2013 when they, when they saw that so-called meteor crash in Russia? Let me ask you this. How do you know it was a, a real meteor? How do you know that it was a real asteroid from, from so-called outer space? How do you know? I'll tell you. From what you saw, you can only go by what you saw. You saw a flash, a flash of white light come down and hit an area in Russia. But let me tell you this. How do you know they didn't use sound enhancers and sound waves and different waves to enhance the sound? How do you know it wasn't just a big scheme? How do you know it just wasn't a big show coming to a sky near you? Are you starting to see the deception that's going on? Are you starting to see the frauds for who they really are? I am. But let's keep going. Hitler. What happened to Hitler after World War II? I'll tell you what happened to him. He was taken to a little place in the south known as Brazil or even Argentina. But what was his mission along with the Nazis? Are you ready? The Antarctic Treaty System was signed in 1959. This allowed your government and all world governments to all claim Antarctica. Now why is Antarctica important in this deception? Because they try to show you that Antarctica looks like this. That Antarctica is in fact a continent when it is really not. I'm going to show you the real model soon to come, but let's keep going. What about Hitler and all the Nazis? Where did they go? They went to Antarctica to start Operation Paperclip, and what else did they do? They were going there for 
Project Monarch, Mind Control, they were starting NASA. Notice how this comes out around the same time that NASA was started, right in the midst of the Cold War. The deception has begun. And as you can see here, there is a list of all these countries that claim this so-called little piece of area we know as Antarctica. Why do not one, not two, not three, but over 50 nations claim Antarctica as their own? Why is that? Why is Antarctica so hard? hardly and heavily secured. Why is this the case? Is our government hiding something from us? Are they hiding truth? Are they hiding the firmament from us? Let's take a look and see. 56. A man by the name of Richard E. Byrd, Admiral Richard E. Byrd, made a very harrowing discovery. You see, he was one of the first men ever to explore Antarctica, so-called, because we know Antarctica was explored well before he was even here. And what did he find on his explanation? And I'm going to leave a video in the chat box below. He found evidence of the flat earth, even in his diaries and writings. And you want to know what that evidence was? Because he journeyed all the way to the end of the earth to the end of the four corners and what did he find there he found the firmament he's one of the first people in our generations known to have found the firmament now when he found this explanation exploration and when he found this discovery what did your government do they all went down to antarctica three years later to claim a piece of it and to keep the truth hidden from you that's why antarctica today is just like area 51 nobody can go there why is that? Are they hiding truth? That's what it seems like, because that's what it is. And this man was the first one to see it. By the way, this man is a Freemason as well, and heavily involved in Freemasonry. Why is Freemasonry important, you may ask? Because almost all of NASA astronauts are Freemasons, and I will prove that to come. But I just want you to know that he was one of the first people in our lifetimes and generations to discover the firmament that has been hidden from us and kept secret to hide your true creator from you because that is what they are doing who then went on to go start and fund the infamous space program known as nasa which we will get into in a second so therefore under a firmament Nothing can enter the atmosphere. Nothing can exit in a living dome. It's impossible to even go to the moon. You may be wondering, how is that? I know you have a lot of questions, and I will do my best to answer them. But just keep with me for a minute, because I want to show you truth. I'll ask you something. Do you recognize this picture? I do. It is the United Nations official logo. Now, if you do the math on these numbers, you get a total of 33, which makes it known that it's in fact a Freemasonic organization. But let me ask you this. What does this in fact look like? Why don't they show a picture of the globed world? Why do they show a picture of the flat earth? Not only that, but let me ask you this. Where's Antarctica on this picture? Look it up yourself, UN logo you find no picture of Antarctica. I wonder why that is. The more accurate picture of the so-called Earth that we live on, as you can see, here is a better representation of the Flat Earth, and I got this picture from theflatearthsociety.org. Now, why is this important to note? Because as you can see, it accurately shows you the distance between Australia and New Zealand and from there to South America, as well from Africa to Australia and New Zealand. Did you know that if you take a flight in the Southern Hemisphere flight, that actually they turn off the radar? Did you know that? Well, now you know. Not only that, but if we zoom in here a little bit to see exactly what it details, you can see that all around is what's so-called Antarctica. And it's, an, like I said, a giant ice wall or a giant ice ring, literally, that's all around. And when you get to the end of this so-called ice ring, you get to the firmament. And the firmament goes all the way up just like a dome. It's almost just like a snow globe. It looks just like a snow globe. 
and we'll get into that for more. I'll leave more links so that you can see for yourself what others have depicted and shown and drawn you as well to the flat earth truth. So this is a more accurate picture of how the flat earth actually looks. This is a more accurate representation of where we are. So then why all the lies? Why have we been lied to? Are they hiding something? Are they hiding the truth? Are they hiding, hiding the firmament? Are they hiding Yahuwah from you? Because planets do not exist. And that is the subject for today. Let's keep going. You see, everything that this organization has told you is in fact a lie. From the space missions, to the planets, to the solar system, to the so-called telescopes, to the so-called fake moon landing, everything that NASA has told you is in fact a lie. And as you can see on the logo, it looks like the devil's tongue, literally. So why am I bringing this up? <clears throat> because, remember the subject for today, planets do not exist. The Earth is in fact flat, and on a flat Earth model, there cannot be planets, there cannot be other worlds, there cannot be other life forms, there cannot be life on other planets. Why is this important? Is your government hiding something from you? What are the lies behind this organization that you have funded millions and millions, and if not billions of dollars towards? Let's find out. Did you know that NASA hires more artists than they do actual scientists? And the scientists they do hire are all pseudo-scientists. So all those equations and all those mathematical formulas and everything, they are making that up right out of their arse. They are making it up. It does not exist. It is not true. What else do they do? All of the artists that they hire to paint those lovely planets that you see, yes, that includes the lovely planet Pluto, which does not exist, they hire all of them to paint. They hire the artists to paint them. They make the artists sign confidentiality agreements because they're agreeing to the brotherhood. They're agreeing to the sisterhood. They are agreeing to Freemasonry. They make them sign these confidentiality agreements. They hire these artists to make these paintings and then they paint them. And that is how NASA fools you. And then they use technology such as Photoshop and other means to make it look like it's a real planet when really it is not a planet at all. Now, don't get it twisted. These so-called planets like Mars and Saturn and Venus, they are not planets. They are stars. They are wandering stars. That is all they are. They are not planets. You cannot go to them. They are, they, and, are, and they are definitely not the way that NASA wants you to make them to look. They do not look like that. They are just wandering stars. Okay, so we know NASA's telling us lies. We know we've been lied to through NASA. We know they're hiring artists and paying them and making them sign confidentiality agreements in order to suppress the truth and keep the truth hidden from you. And in fact, I'm going to leave a link below so that you can see an artist from NASA himself tell you what he does and how much of a fake it really is. But is that it? What about the moon landings? Was that real? Or was that faked and scripted as well and filmed in Nevada in a hidden set by Stanley Kubrick, the same director who directed Eyes Wide Shut, the movie that exposed Hollywood and the agenda, but you weren't paying attention because a couple of days after that movie was released, Stanley Kubrick mysteriously passed away. I wonder what happened. Are you starting to see the lies and the deception here? Are you, dis are you dis deciphering the lie that is, in fact, NASA, that is, in fact, your government? It is all one big fraud. It is all one big sham. There is no space program. You cannot get to Mars. You cannot get to the moon. It is impossible for humans to do that. But they have fooled you, haven't they? Let's keep going. Probably wondering, what about all the telescopes and the satellites that we see? Are those in fact real too? Chances are, they are also fake. 
because last I checked, you cannot go into the atmosphere. Here is a lovely picture of the Hubble telescope, and they take very lovely so-called images of nebulas and other things that are in this so-called distant world. But just how distant is this world? Let's find out. Here's we have been brainwashed into believing theories and just crazy theories such as the Big Bang Theory and such as the theory of the universe expanding and expanding and expanding because they are only trying to hide the creator from you because they don't want you to know his true power. Here you see a picture of the so-called Helix Nebula. Helix, Sun, seeing a hint here. Now what if I told you that this so-called nebula was just drawn by an artist and was just an artist rendering and it's just a painting and that's all it is? What if I told you that all the nebulas and all the planets and everything you see are in fact artists rendering? Would you still believe it? Would you believe the zero gravity planes that astronauts fly in in order to pretend like they're in space when really they're not? What about all the, would you believe the underwater shooting that astronauts go to to make it look like they're in space, but really they're under a green screen and they're underwater and they're shooting in underwater. And that is how you see them. But it looks like they're in space. Do not believe the deception. It is all just like Hollywood. It is all a big film. It is all fakery. And let me tell you this too. What about the moon landings? Was that just a, sh a movie and a show too? Yes, it was. You see, they have to use false CGI and paintings and renderings and film sets and green screens and photoshops and all the whole nine yards to make you believe this false space program that is not true and not biblical. But how else, how deep does this deception go? How deep does this rabbit hole go? Let's continue on and see how bad this really is. See, here is a picture and a photograph of astronauts training underwater. As you can see, this is how they fool you into believing that they're some miles and miles and miles away when really they're just underwater or on zero gravity planes. As you can see here, is the NASA logo. So that lets you know that this is in fact part of a NASA organization. Now why would they need to be underwater if they're supposed to be millions and millions and millions of miles away? So they say, unless they're lying to us. But is that all they're lying to us about? You can see, and I will try to find the video for you as well, here are a group of astronauts making Freemasonic hand signs and hand gestures and hand symbols. As you can see, all of these astronauts are signing to the Brotherhood and signing to the Sisterhood that is Freemasonry, that is the Illuminati, that is the Boule, that is other secret societies and organizations such as the Russicrussians, Skull and Bones, and many others, that they are in fact well aware of what they are doing, they are in fact well aware of this lie, and they are in fact part of the Brotherhood. And as part of it, they make and sign these Illuminati hand symbols when they are really not in space at all. And they are using these people to brainwash them and they sign confidentiality agreements never to tell the secrets when they are in fact Freemasons. Now why is this important you may ask? For many reasons. In fact an astronaut even admitted that they were in fact in Nevada while filming on camera. And I will try to find that video as well. But why am I mentioning this? Why even bring it up? Because NASA even admits to using photoshopped images in their space program, which we know is in fact a fraud. We know it is in fact a fake. But you're probably asking, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so if these astronauts cannot physically go to space, how do you explain all the equipment? How do you explain this all of this, it's all being filmed on set and location, all underwater, all zero gravity. That's all it is. Okay, but how do you explain the moon landings? That was all stage, my friends. It was all directed by Stanley Kubrick. Okay, well, how do you explain, how do you explain certain asteroids and certain 
other space phenomena that could be a potential threat. Well, let me ask you this. Are they a potential threat? How do we know? If we know we're being lied to, should we believe anything they tell us? If they lie to us once, will they lie to us again? If they're signing Freemasonic hand symbols and hand gestures right in front of our faces, is there a potential that they might be lying to us even more? How deep does the rabbit hole go? Because the segment today is that planets do not exist. And we know that for a fact. And we know that all the planets that you see today give worship to Roman pagan gods, partaking in sun worship as they place the sun at the center. And we know they're all artists rendering and artists photoshopped in all paintings. And they have made you to believe even a lie, one of the biggest lies of all time. But how deep does the rabbit hole go? Recently, it was discovered that NASA had, in fact, found the planet Pluto, which we know is, in fact, the lie. They did not find a so-called planet because that so-called planet does not exist. If anything, it is, in fact, a star. But why is this so important? Because look at the image that NASA has given us. Are you starting to see something very interesting about Pluto? I see it. Do you see it? I'll wait for it. Do you see it now? I'll wait. Pluto. Yes, Pluto. They are literally placing Pluto on this painted image that they painted and showed you in Photoshop to make it look like it was a real planet when really it is not. Do you see this here? Do you see Pluto on Pluto? The elite are laughing at you. The elite are making fun of you. The elite are having grand balls behind your back laughing at you because you believe their lies, because you believe everything they tell you, because you believe in such a space program and even invest money into this fraudulent space program and fraudulent scheme when they are at even showing you that planets do not exist, that this Pluto does not exist. They are literally putting Pluto on Pluto because Pluto does not exist as a planet. It does not look like this. If anything, it is a star, a wandering star. Why are they putting Pluto on here? Because they are laughing at you, because you continue to believe their lies. Not any more. So as you can see, and I hope this brings it to your attention, that yes, you have in fact been lied to many of times. It's not the only one lying to you. In fact, time is actually lying as well, but really they are actually telling truth and leaving some of their lies in here. You see, time is actually telling you truth here, just like NASA placed the picture of Pluto on Pluto. As you can see, they even tell you that the moon landings were faked and they go under the name conspiracy theories because they know if they go under that name, you won't believe it, but yet they're actually telling you truth here. So which one will you believe? Separating fact from fiction. What if everything you thought you knew was in fact a lie? What if everything you thought you've been living in was in fact a lie? What if you what if everything you thought you knew about the globe, about learning about the globe, why do you think they placed the globe in education systems at starting at five years old? What is it just all a lie? What if it were all a lie? Or as they like to say, a sinister hoax. That is in fact a hoax because they are telling truth here. But they are not the only ones because actually Weekly World News also says that the moon landing was a hoax. We never went. NASA made $30 billion movie to fool the entire world. And that's exactly what they did. But will you continue to believe the lies? Will you continue to listen to what NASA tells you? If so, then I do not know what to tell you because I'm telling you it is in fact a hoax. Remember our segment for today. The Earth is in fact flat. But not only that, planets do not exist. And that, my friends, are a fact. No one knows the exact picture of how the flat Earth looks except the Most High and his son Yahusha 
and his heavenly angels. But is there an agenda behind this? Could there be even a more sinister plan than just this, than just lies? Well, let's find out. Movie poster for the 1979 film called Alien. And as you can see, there is much Hollywood propaganda to push this agenda, to make you believe in extraterrestrials that come from some other planets, when really we know these planets don't exist. So therefore, these so-called extraterrestrials can only be one thing, and that's fallen angels, who are the demigods, who are the demons. But with films such as Star Wars, Star Trek, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Jurassic World, and many others, it seems as if Hollywood is making a big push to make you believe in this scam, to make you believe in this agenda. With other films such as Gravity, Interstellar, and many others that are trying to make you believe that there are worlds outside of our own, when the Most High has told us that He has created us, and only us with the angels, and nothing else. He's told us in his word that he's created the birds and the trees and the fish and the animals and the beasts of the field and humans and the angels. So why would he need to create other planets? Because he did not tell us that. Therefore, planets do not exist. And what you have been taught is a lie. And what you have been known and what you thought you knew is in fact a lie. It is all a big hoax. The globe is a hoax. NASA is a hoax. NASA is a fraud and they have stolen your money by doing one of the biggest films on the biggest film sets, one of the most secretive projects of all time until today. But how deep does this deception go? What are they getting you ready for? What are they getting the sleeping public ready for? Because we know disclosure is coming. And we know the government is going to try to tell us that so-called aliens are coming from other planets, but we know better because planets don't exist. So therefore, they can only be the fallen angels. But what is the big agenda at play? Find out now. But all of the so-called planets and the so-called discoveries and the so-called stars and the so-called nebulas have, in fact, are fake, false, and CGI generated computer graphic imaging. We know this for a fact. We also know that these so-called planets that do not exist but are stars give pagan homage and worship to Roman pagan gods, one of which gives worship to Satan himself. And by the way, if you still believe your earth, the plane you live on, the flat plane you live on looks like this, I suggest you think again. Because there is an agenda. The satellites are not real. The satellites do not exist. Planets do not exist. Planets are not real. They are all CGI. Now what is the real agenda here? Why is the so-called space program NASA hiring Freemasonic people in their organization lying to us? What are they trying to do? What is the real agenda? And what is the agenda behind Hollywood brainwashing the masses with all these films into making people believe that aliens are in fact real and extraterrestrials are real, such as the film E.T., when they are in fact not? Because there is disclosure coming. And I'm going to tell you now, if you have not seen my Project Blue Beam video, I suggest you do. Because this is the only way that the false messiah can come on the scene. This is the only way that the so-called alien disclosure can work, when really we know it's the fallen angels. Because see, in order for Satan to deceive, he has to come as the false messiah. And in order for him to do that, you have to believe that so-called aliens are coming to rule the planet, when really we know better than that. So what is the agenda here? Why are they doing this? Why take such a small, why take a truth such as the flat earth and make it into one big lie such as the round earth, such as what you are seeing right here? Why do that? Because over 500 years ago, everybody knew the earth was flat. In fact, ancient religions even agreed on the one fact that the earth was flat. So why have maps been taken, distorted, twisted, removed, and taken out of their texts 
and replaced with ones like these? Why are all textbooks showing us planets that don't exist? Why are we being shown experiments and equations and CGI images and nebulas and things of that sort that do not exist? Why are we shown all these galaxies of so-called planets and so-called life there when there is no life there at all? Because we are the only ones that have life. Could it be because they are hiding the creator from you? Could it be because they are hiding truth from you? Could it be because they are hiding Yahuwah from you? The answer to all of those questions are yes. Yes and yes. They are hiding truth from you. They are hiding Yahuwah from you. They are hiding your creator from you. But what else are they doing? They are hiring Freemasonic and Illuminati-driven scientists, who are atheists, by the way, to make up pseudoscience and equations like Albert Einstein, to make you believe a lie, to make you believe in theories and forces and gravity and things that actually aren't true. They're making you accept pseudoscience and you are accepting their every lie. Because Apollo, which is giving worship to Satan himself, the so-called Apollo that took the photo of the so-called famous 1972 Earth, well, is that really the Earth? The answer to that question is no, because it's the same photo being tossed around in every single textbook and every single place you go. So therefore, we know it's not the truth. Not only that, but what else do we know? We also know that we have been lied to many, many, many of times and now we are fully aware and awake and awoke to the agenda that the elite have placed on us because as i have told you the so-called explorations and the so-called going to mars and going to all these other planets they are in fact lies why is it that in 1972 that was the last so-called mission to the moon could it be because people were waking up and seeing that the first mission never happened at all? It was never a mission to begin with. It was all staged and it was all a lie. There was never any going to the moon to begin with. Could it be because people were waking up at that time? Could it be because they lied to billions of people and are still lying even to this day? Because they want you to accept what's coming. And what is coming? The so-called aliens. It's only a matter of time until your president announces that they have gained contact with so-called aliens who are in fact the fallen angels. It's only a matter of time now until they tell you, until all governments tell you that they need to work on a so-called threat coming from so-called aliens and so-called extraterrestrials when we know better. That is what they are getting you ready for. But what else are they getting you ready for? Look up Project Blue Beam. They're getting you ready for the false messiah. And the only way they can do that is if you accept their every lies. Because remember, who is the father of lies? Satan. Is he lying to you? Or are you being fooled and duped into his lies? Now that you are awoke, do you see the agenda that is going on? Do you see the agenda at play? Do you see how serious this is? Do you see how, su how such a small lie, what may seem like a small lie between the flat earth and the round earth, flat earth truth and round earth lie, how that small little lie can do so much? Because what does it do? It hides your creator from you. It hides the firmament. It hides the flat earth, which is true. It hides Yahuwah, who is the creator. And it makes you believe in lies. But what else? It's going to make you soon believe in the coming lies and the coming deception that is the fallen angels. Do not be fooled by their every tricks and schemes. Do not be fooled by what they are telling you. Yes, the earth is in fact flat. And all these planets you see here that give homage to pagan Roman gods, by the way, they are in fact fake, they are in fact false, they do not exist. I'm doing this video in hopes that you will see that you have been lied to 
and that these space programs and governments are continuously lying to you and feeding you deceptions on the daily, funded by the Zionists. I hope you are seeing this, and I hope your eyes are wide open to the truth, so you will not be deceived by the coming deceptions, because yes, the earth is flat. These planets do not exist. That, my friends, is a fact. I will leave helpful links below so that you may journey into truth. Truth Unveiled. Shalom.